Hello and welcome. Today is September 22nd, 2011, and this is the Zeg Sigma Show. Now, first on the list today is Elephant Appreciation Day. Now, elephants, as you know, are the massive things with the trunk, usually grey. Now, today is based around making plans and trying to see if they can prevent more killings of elephants just for the tusks. I don't know any more about why this day was actually created, but I assume it's something to do with the fact that they are kind of going extinct. Right, that's fair. The only things I know about elephants for sure is one, they're supposed to have a good memory, two, some of them are better artists than me, and three, they are supposed to be quite intelligent. Now, I don't know if they're intelligent as far as humans are concerned, or if they're just intelligent compared to other animals. But today, I think is a good day. For one, there isn't really any good reason to harm elephants or any other animal for that matter but honestly i would like one of their heads on my wall you know if they were less endangered so as game hunting i think it's all right if you've got the money to do so but if you're making money off killing the elephants just for the tusks then i think that's a bit wrong i don't see how the two are different but that's kind of how i feel about it firstly i wouldn't kill one for the fact that they're not as populated as other animals are. And the other animals you can still hunt, so why not do them? But I would love to go hunting. I always have done, really. But I've never thought it would be good to hunt an elephant. Mainly because if you're not a brilliant shot and you don't get it exactly where you need it, you're as good as dead because they will treble you, which is always not a good thing. But on to the next segment of the video. In 1862, the Emancipation Proclamation was issued. On September 22nd, 1862, President Lincoln issued the Preliminary Emancipation Proclamation. It stated that if the rebels didn't return to the Union by January 1st, 1863, he would declare the slaves to be free. Now I didn't know what this was before I started looking online. All I thought it was was just like sort of the laws of the land in them days, but I'm still not sure on the story of the entire thing. And seeing as I'm wrong most of the time, if you know exactly what it is, tell me in the comments below and I will see if you are right. And if so, then you win nothing, but you can claim to be correct. Or as always, you can click on the link in the description to find out more about it. Today is also the birthday of the ice cream cone. In 1904, at the World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri, an ice cream vendor ran out of paper bowls to put his ice cream in. But a pastry maker helped him out by rolling ice creams in crisp waffles, which he called Zalambia. All I have to say is the creator of this, oh, I hate him so much. Now, every time I go downtown and pass an ice cream shop, people say, oh, we say, do you want one? I always say no. I've never liked them. I, well, not that I can remember anyway. I haven't eaten an ice cream for like five years, and yet everybody still asks me if I like it. No, I've always said no. It's too cold, and it's not very nice anyway. So just, shh. Everyone still asks me though, even though I haven't eaten them for years. So what am I going to do? I don't know. I'll probably just have to put up with it for the rest of my life. Maybe it's been more than five years, but I'm not sure. Just nobody listens to me anyway, so it doesn't matter. And on to the next one. In 1920, the Band-Aid was invented. Now this, we call a plaster. But in 1920, Early Dixon invented the Band-Aid while working as a cotton buyer. I don't know why this has got anything to do with cotton, even though I think there might have been a bit of cotton in the middle after it. I don't know, I just use a cotton bud and sellotape if I don't have any plasters. Or usually just tissue paper will do the trick. So, the Band-Aid was invented Woohoo! Now we can injure ourselves and not have to worry about it. Now, as I said, in the UK, we call them plasters. I started calling it a band aid a while ago because I was watching too many American TV shows and everybody got annoyed by it. Then again, a band aid is too close to bandage. Yeah, I, was, I don't know what Americans call a bandage. It might be the same thing, but honestly, I have no idea. But everybody gets annoyed by the fact that I always do say things Americanized and it doesn't really help that nobody knows what I'm talking about. Also, on this day in 1776, Nathan Hill was executed by the British for spying. American patriot Nathan Hale crossed enemy lines to gather information as to the strength and plans of the British. He was caught while trying to return and hanged on September 22nd. Now, we didn't even have a trial for this, and I'm very surprised that he didn't have a trial. I mean, I, I mean, if nobody had a trial now, it would be a lot quicker, and you wouldn't have to hear about things that happened on the news six years ago because something has finally happened with it. But my battery is about to die, so I will say thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and thumbs up. Be sure to check out my next video, and all the links are in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.